Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome to an early first look and mod preview of the New Holland 40 Series Zebra from AMG Agri Modding. This is a tractor that is intended for all platforms, and we will hopefully be seeing it very soon. There are a ton of things to talk about and show you guys today, and we're going to be going over everything in this video. AMG Agri did send over this mod for this video to show you guys ahead of its public release. That way, you know exactly what to expect once it's here. Check them out. Link below. All right. Let's jump in and check out the New Holland 40 Series Zebra. And here it is, 75 horsepower, manual plus power shift transmission, 105 liters of fuel, 4.8 tons, and we've got a ton of customization. Let's start off with the colors. So this is kind of neat. They've gone in and they've taken some real colors. So we have the New Holland Blue. We also have the Ford Blue and White, and we have the Ford gray and blue so you can kind of change that up and yes they are intending for the ford stuff to be released on consoles which is super cool it may not work that way but we'll cross that bridge when we have to so all three of those are real life colors but as you just saw well they've added some more goodies for you as well they've added the fiat power we've also got the blue power so you can do smaller versions of that we've also got a matte blue power and we have the black power in gloss and matte of course and then back to our standard color so we've got real life stuff and we've got some stuff that wasn't available with us but he decided to add it anyway because who doesn't want a black new holland baby tractor i love that well brands we've got almost everything in here with the exception of one tire brand bkt it's not here because he said well the ones that would have fit this tractor were too big so they emitted them trelleborg michelin continental midas Verstein. Nakian tires. Let's take a look at each one. In trailer board, we have a standard. We have wide tire, which is going to raise you up a little bit. It's looking real good. We also have rear twins and twins all the way around. So yeah, you can throw some duels on this bad boy and make it look good. In Michelin tires, we have standard, wide tires, rear twins, twins all the way around. Continental, standard wides, rear twins, twins all the way around. Getting the idea? Well, not quite, because Midas... Wide tires. That's it. That's all you get. Ha <laughs> ha. Breitstein standard. Wides, rear twins, twins all the way around. Kind of faked you out a little bit. And then Nucky and tires are just Nucky and tires in general. As far as front loaders go, we have front loader attacher. No, we have the quickie. And then we have yes. Okay. So what does the yes mean? Well, the yes will also work with the quickie, but it's originally designed for the MP lift mod. Uh, that is for PC only, at least for right now. That's what it's designed for. You can use it with the other front loaders. However, that's what it's designed for. It's just kind of a little bonus. So there you go. Also, he does say that these will change colors with the chassis of the tractor. So it'll go back and forth between blue and gray. That's pretty sweet. Heck yeah, man. Engine setups. We've got all of the real engine options that you guys will be used to here. Nothing special. Just three options. We have the 5640, which is going to give you 75 horsepower. We got the 6640, which gives you 85 and we have the 7740. This gives you 95 horsepower. So 75, 85, 95 all come with the manual plus power shift. Then we have rim color. We actually have nine different rim colors to choose from here. We've got three of each. So we have three whites, three silvers, and three blacks. Well, what's the difference? Well, each one has a standard, a metallic, and matte options so you could go through and do whatever you like with those boom boom and boom and then even the same thing with black so we've got different options to really make this tractor your own and that's pretty cool that's awesome as far as number plates go they've just got one on the rear of the cabin on the roof we've got dj 60 ham right here because we're on comston so we can't put letters in the middle so DJ 60 ham is the one. Since we've got a Ford version, let's take a look at this one and do all of our exterior looks and gear changes and all that fun stuff. So they do say that, of course, we have the Ford decal on two of these. Uh, to my knowledge, this is not a Ford logo. This is one that they put together uh, just for this tractor. So it shouldn't be copyrighted. It should be OK there. They also, of course, have animated wipers on here. They do say that there's a couple things with the links that you should know about. Say that the top link is gone now. Um, the top link gone for trailer attachers at the rear, which allows for proper hose connection. Uh, they do say that the trailer attacher 
on the front it's not a low type but it is a normal type uh this is regular that way you can hook up kind of whatever you want uh you can even hook up the front link so the pepe 978 front lifter mod they say you can do it but it does look kind of weird they do say everything else is pretty standard stuff lights skin dynamic hoses textures etc etc everything that you would be used to seeing cool so let's jump in the tractor and hang out so there's a bunch of things that uh, amg has sent over and i'm gonna hit every single one of them i'm not gonna miss anything so first off they say that there's an animated handbrake on the startup at the bottom left of the seat you guys can see it down there uh they say this is uh their uh own idea is not uh, farm sim 22 standard and took a lot of effort to actually get it working with giant scripts so let's turn on the tractor and see what happens hey so whenever we do that of course you can see we've got our left foot down on the clutch as well but the handbrake goes away all right that's so cool we've also got an animated key now i don't know let's see what's the the shift where i can lean over and kind of take a look you might be able to see the key down there yeah look right above the uh the windshield wiper thing on the right side right in the middle of your screen check that out the key turns too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Uh, all right, let's back up a little bit from moving forward. Now, we've got an animated clutch. Of course, we've got animated clutches and gas pedals. You can see I'm gunning it right now, but nothing's happening because I don't have it in gear. Let's turn on some stuff so I can see. I've had to change the gears over to my keyboard instead of on my controller, so I'm going to be driving with a three hands today let's see if this works uh so as far as everything else in here we do have a seat suspension so that is very very nice and we also have indicators which uh turn the light on um of the left dash and right so you can see we've got our clicker right there on the left side up down look at good look at good um we do have beacons on the top as well or at least one beacon so that will work and it does work with your animated beacons if you have one of those from giants so that's pretty cool all of the interior lights work even the switches look at the bottom left hand of the uh steering wheel here it's all kinds of buttons i love it <laughs> that's so cool man yeah all right let's talk about the gearbox because this gearbox is fully animated of course you can see i'm gunning it nothing's happening because i'm just sitting here right now uh, we've got a sticks on the right side of the seat uh, all gears are represented into real things so uh, let's say we're going up you could change your range right there as well um, if we're going forwards versus going backwards you could see that's moving as well which is pretty cool and we've even got all your normal gears through here so we've got four in the uh, regular low range, and we've got four in the high range as well. So gears one through eight, that's pretty sweet. They do say that none of the uh, gear shift sticks move between blocks one through four, five through eight. They say it's not a specific gear because in real life, you would press a little button to change that. So that is why that does not work. Uh, inside light stuff, they say, um, that inside here the dash of course we've got uh turn lights with all of the different things uh we've got below the dash the switches that move of course we've talked about those as well <laughs> it's such a cool thing there is a light on the right pillar in here as well um oh yeah look at this look at this i gotta spin my head all the way around we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of light in here not too bad Oh yeah, look, there's one right there as well. Hmm, let's turn on the helper menu here and see if there's anything that we do. So it doesn't look like we can open and close any door, so at least there's that. But this is pretty, pretty cool. AMG did say that it would be worth showing at night. So how's about we fast forward time just a lot <laughs> and take a look inside. So... It's fairly dark, we'll say. And if you turn all the lights off, it's very dark indeed. Let's see if we can turn everything on and we'll even turn the hazards on as well. She's bright. For a small tractor, that is a lot of light. Plus, of course, here on Comsden, uh, everything is super, super dark. Yikes. 
nonetheless this is exactly what you would expect so uh nothing out of the ordinary here love that that's awesome just don't turn your tractor off <laughs> you're gonna see me over here in the dark what's the what's the yellow beam in the side oh it's just dj we should probably go help him <laughs> Since sound is such a big part of Farming Simulator 22, I figured, hey, let's jump in here and let's take a listen to the sound. We have going for the largest engine, so we're running the 95 horsepower engine, and I have switched back into automatic. Otherwise, nothing else is going to be different. Let's jump in. And there you go, guys. That is it. That is going to be your new Holland 40 Series Zebra from AMG Agri Modding. Huge shout out to him for sending this over. Definitely check him out on Facebook. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. He does post regularly and he updates us on his latest progresses. He's working on more than just this, though. So you definitely want to go check him out. All that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like, get subscribed, join the GoHam fam, etc., etc. Notifications. Do I need to say it? Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.